Hello folks, Bronco Bob here with the 69 Cadillac station wagon. You can see the air conditioner is condensing water. You can see the drips underneath it. We've had it running out here for about 10 minutes. And you can also see the sunroof is open. We're gonna take her for a ride. See what she's all about. Paul, you look comfortable. Oh boy, I've been looking forward to this. Sinking in that big old seat. You can see the shiny hood. Yeah, we're gonna run down the, the street here and then we'll get up on the freeway. And then we'll we'll do another video of the car driving and I'll get out of the car. That hood is a mile long. We've got the air conditioner on right now. We didn't have the right, um, we don't know if it's been converted to 134 or not. So we didn't want to put the wrong refrigerant in it. It is blowing cool, but the fan just doesn't blow as hard as like my new Dodge truck. Probably blows about like it did in 1969. This uh, interior is kind of crazy. Faux alligator. We're going to cruise down this little kind of a residential kind of street. This thing's got cigarette lighters and ashtrays everywhere. Back in the day, everybody seemed to smoke. And nowadays, you don't even see ashtrays. It's the strife. I feel like you're riding on a cloud, like a big old recliner. <laughs> like, like put my slippers on and give me the remote control. Check that comfort out. This is fun. <laughs> It does need a big old hood ornament on the front. It does, yeah. Big old wreath and crest, even where it ends. Back in the day, they used to steal those off the cars and make a necklace out of them. <laughs> I worked for a Cadillac dealer, and we'd come to work sometimes, and the hood ornaments would be gone. They didn't just get one, they'd go out there and get them all. Nice little uh, kind of rural area. Yeah, usually we do a video and we got a big cam and some headers and a Flowmaster exhaust system. This one's pretty quiet. And I did note in the uh, in the pictures the the pipes on this do have some pinholes. Um, it could use a really a, a new exhaust system. An X pipe and some flow masters would be really great. About 47 feet of pipe. Because these these motors are 10 and a half to one compression. So you really need to run premium fuel and probably keep the advance turned back just a little bit. But if you got a hold of some good hundred octane and you turn the timing up it's a 375 horse motor of course it's pulling a gigantic frame and body kind of a battleship and yeah, we're going to get up here and get on the freeway in fact paul if you'll reach under there to the left side and we'll close the sunroof just want to show everybody she works there you go and this one is a sunroof. A lot of the older cars had moon, uh, what they call power moonroofs, and they had a glass panel. Uh, this one's just a regular metal panel with some headliner material. Well, we're going to get up here and get on the ramp, get up on the freeway. Paul, you don't mind putting it to the floor, do you? I don't mind at all. All right. I have to, I will. You volunteer? I volunteer. I ain't scared. So we'll see what she does. The fuel in it is probably a little bit old. So it's probably lost a little bit of, of its octane. But we 
just want to show you that it does go down the highway. Just kind of a kind of a big old floater. <laughs> want to get up here for a second we're gonna get off and make a loop yeah this thing's just a kind of floats probably could use uh, tire balance you know when they sit in the air-conditioned cold showroom for a couple months then we get them out run them down the road those tires got to warm up smile it makes everybody that's looking at it <laughs> smile everybody gives us the thumbs up and people's first impression is it's a hearse but it's not a hearse it's a station wagon <laughs> definitely a lower roof line actually we can go straight and that'll take us to the that little neighborhood oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, people are staring at this car. Yeah, a set of Flowmasters would give this thing a nice, nice little rumble. It's like the car floats up and down and the seats float up and down. Well, I'm going to conclude this video and when we get over to the neighborhood, we're going to do one more. Good luck and happy bidding on Bring a Trailer.